Hey guys, um, today in Windows Vista I'm going to be showing you, uh, a lot of you if you have Windows Vista you may have wondered where did the run button go in the start menu. Well first of all I have to say that the run button is actually the start search button as well. If I was to type msconfig into the run, into the start search button and hit enter, it would pop up as if I had put it in the run dialog. But some of you guys who, who are still loyal and true to Windows XP, uh, still want to be able to just go start run and uh, instantly have that little run dialog box there to type it in just like you were in Windows XP. So I'm going to show you guys how to enable that. Uh, first of all, you right click on your taskbar, not the actual start or but the taskbar, any properties. Then you go to the start menu tab, and in start menu, I'm going to hit customize. This will work for both the classic start menu and the Windows Vista start menu. So I'm going to scroll all the way down, about three quarters of the way down, till we see a box that says run command. All you have to do is check that box and hit OK, hit apply, and press OK again, and that will apply the run command box right there into Windows Vista's start, uh, start menu. And that's just how you do it. Uh, then when you hit run, you'll have msconfig right there. You can type it in and it will work just like if you typed it right here. So, um, I hope that guys helps. If, yeah, I hope that helps you guys if you're using Windows Vista. If you want to um, disable it at any time, it's the exact same steps. Just follow them the opposite way. Customize, go down, and uncheck run command, and apply it. It'll be gone, and you'll never have to worry about it again. So that is how to enable and disable the run command in Windows Vista, um, in the Windows Vista start menu. If you like it, and if you have any more tutorials, that uh, tutorial ideas for me to do, just uh, subscribe and send me a message and I will get to it. So thanks for watching. Peace. Now, what I just showed you is just a, one of the many forms of start menu and taskbar customization in Windows Vista. Another thing that I have done with my start menu is I right click and go to properties, go to start menu again and customize again, and I set the number of recent programs to display as 8. Uh, I think it is normally set to 9 or 10. I decreased it to 8 uh, to shorten the size of my start menu, so when I actually hit start, it only goes about a little more than halfway up the screen. Um, so I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 recently displayed items, and then I have, of course, the ones I've dragged to the top as my most used. In order to add icons to here, simply select the program. So maybe I want to add paint up here. Uh, I will just click it and drag it until it's above that dark arrow and release. And there it is. It will always be there no matter how many other programs I open in this bottom eight. It will be up here. Uh, and to open it, you click it, obviously. At any time, you can move paint out of there just by right-clicking on it and selecting Remove from this list. And paint is gone. So I've chosen Internet Browser and my email client, as well as Media Center, um, Printing and Scanning, etc., the DVD Suite, and my Disk Defragmenter to all be in the top, as well as the eight most recently used programs in the bottom. So those are two little tricks for Start Menu customization that you guys might like. Um, so, again, if you enjoy these videos, go ahead and subscribe. I'll get to you. Peace.